Today on 10 Minute IT Gems, we're joined by Alexei Lebedev, who is the Vice President of Pacific at Aveva. From energy to infrastructure, manufacturing and beyond, Aveva understands your business. Its secure, open software and global network of partners help their customers optimize at scale and seamlessly collaborate with their extended ecosystem. Alexei joins us today to tell us more about Aveva and what they're doing in the APEC region. Thank you for coming along, Alexei, and welcome to the jam. Thank you. All right, well, let's get straight into it. Uh, for a business that hasn't worked with Aveva before, what are your key products and offerings? Okay, so let me start with uh, what you've said already, but it's just to highlight, there are many different uh, markets and we are a software leader, Aviva is a software leader, but in a very specific segment, industrial segment. If you look at this segment, we enable our customers, industrial customers across the entire life cycle, starting from the design through build to operate and optimize. And the beauty of our portfolio is of today that we combined unmatched number of products and we can provide seamless experience for all these phases. So we can enable our customers to do all this you know, transformation from the early stage to the very last stage and to have, as it's common to say like digital twin, but it's a truly digital twin. It represents all the phases and that information is connected. Just to give you a bit of a glimpse of uh, what who we are, we have more than 50 years of experience in this market more than 20,000 industrial customers, which is huge customer base. <laughs> Talking about Australia, uh, for, let's take one very nice example, uh, AGL, you know, Australia's largest energy provider who have been Aviva Solutions user for more than 20 years. So our tools are the heart of their energy transition with our solution Pi system. So Pi system is helping them to optimize wind turbine performance across 200 turbines in real time. So through machine learning and algorithms, so this is really uh, innovative approach and uh, possibility to get a lot of positive out of this IT solution. So providing that uh, solution, we help them to optimize costs of around 50 to 70 million Australian dollars. So this is like in, in a couple of sentences, who's a VIP? Well, now, what are the most recent improvements or innovations in Aviva's offerings? Yeah, so for, it's a very good question as Aviva's strategy uh, is to uh, continue to invest into solutions and technologies uh, through improvement of the current technologies and acquisitions. So the recent example I mentioned already, uh, OSI Soft, uh, with the leading product in a real-time um, data infrastructure Pi system. So that was the recent, although you know it's a couple of years already, but uh, the, the most significant combination. Uh, then we continue to shift into the cloud. So we develop a SaaS model for our solutions. We trans transition our products into SaaS. Sustainability. For us, it's a, it's a very natural to provide our customers with the functionality which should help them to get the best out of their existing assets or to design assets, assets with the, you know, uh, something which they can really find the benefits in, at the earlier stage. So it's it's one of those two significant focuses. As a vehicle, when we talk about a customer experience, we developed a model of the licensing, which is called Flex, when it's the simple analogy can be uh, when you buy some kind of mobile pool credits and you consume them the way you want. So this is kind of uh, a similar approach. And we want to transition over the 80% of our customers into that mechanism to allow them to consume the older products from our portfolio. So instead of the old model, the when they were buying one product or and then we're buying another one and another one, and then you wonder, okay, how the consumption goes. Should I buy more of these or more of those and uh, how to get rid of the licenses I may not necessarily use today. So the flex is really uh, another area of investment for us. And uh, I believe this is kind of main focus areas as of today. Well, now I guess shifting tech a bit, what trends are your product development teams laser focused on next? Yeah, so it's, uh, it's uh, that was always in the heart of uh, everything uh, Aviva does. Uh, you know, focus on a customer uh, base and uh, focus on the needs of our customers as we really want to 
enable our customers with the latest technology. So 16% of the revenue we earn, we invest into R&D. This is over 100 million a year. So we really dedicated to uh, help our customers with energy transition, sustainability solutions. We develop uh, the concept which is called Metaverse, although it may sound very um, futuristic and uh, far, far away from today, it's not that far away. The simple, uh, we have a simple video from R&D where you can get a real feel what is it. Uh, for those who play computer games, you wear VR and you see like gates into the different uh, solutions. So when you uh, go through those gates, you physically, not physically, virtually uh, <laughs> appear in a either a plant where you can touch uh, virtually all the uh, meters, all the equipment, uh, and you can get information. You can drill down information. You can get information in context. For example, if the pump fails, you can get information what happened with the pump over the period of time, which is really VR. And mm -hmm. uh, this is what we call a metaverse experience. Another metaverse experience, when you deep dive into engineering project and you physically, okay, not again physically, you mm -hmm. as human, you see others working in this project. They use different tools, but you see them and you can approach them. You can ask them, you can work with them on the same piece of equipment. You can see the, what they do in the design tools and uh, you can see that in a virtual environment. So this is really a uh, interesting concept. And I believe Australia is very close to making that step uh, because metaverse experience can be as simple as a couple of monitors or big screens. You can extend that to augmented reality headset, you can take VR. So for different roles, that could be a different experience. But the, 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 the point is we have information connected. The way we consume information as a humans is a different story. But we want to provide that access to that information to the best uh, of like our possibilities. So this is kind of uh, the recent very inspiring. It's like it's, it's, it's so visual, you know? When you when you talk about different technologies, that this is very visual. So and uh, SaaS solutions, uh, it's interesting as industrial segment was very reluctant to embrace SaaS transition. Like, uh, is it very secure? Yeah. Uh, being IT, uh, I'm I'm able to confirm that it's very secure. Okay, yeah. uh, we have right now online banking experience, like all of us, yeah. government ex uh, portal experience, and so on. We're not concerned about that, but industrial world was concerned by how safe it is. So we developed, uh, instead of the legacy approach when all the th solutions were inside uh, customer um, infrastructure, which is called on-premise, we developed fully cloud, which could be kind of question mark, is it for everybody? Mm. So we did, decided to build also a hybrid approach when we, um, pro we, we we do a lot of things on the local ground to allow our customers to have that confidence and quick reaction and do not depend uh, from the internet connection, depend on uh, other uh, aspects. At the same time, if you need, for example, predictive analytics, you need to have a look at, at the historical data and you need to uh, put that information into AI. So that AI is based in the cloud. So we get the data from on-prem and this is called hybrid solution. So our customers can get the best out of both worlds. So this is really interesting also. And, um, you know, um, this is pretty much our areas of focus, I believe. So out of what I can remember right now. Oh, that's, that's a great summary. Thank you, Alexei. Uh, well, now I guess also shifting tech again, uh, what infrastructure or resources does Aviva have in the APAC market? Uh, this is, this is, uh, Thank you for this question, as I'm really proud, as I joined uh, Aviva Australia in uh, September last, no, it's only in April, but I relocated in September last yeah. year, so from Europe. Uh, in Europe, many offices of Aviva, they divided into development offices, like developers, R&D centers, and sales offices. In Australia, we have in Pacific, we have unique uh, combination, we have two big R&D teams located one in Sydney and another in Brisbane. We, uh, legacy, those products were called uh, SciTech and Ampla. So truly Australian products. SciTech, by the way, 50 years old product. So it's like, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. 
at the same time, it's a modern solution with a modern uh, UI and sort of dinosaur. So uh, talking about uh, our uh, presence here, more than 200 employees, two big R&D centers, with offices in Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne, Perth, and our employees, we work uh, in a hybrid mode. So we have employees in Adelaide and pretty much across uh, uh, all Australia where business uh, industrial customers have their presence. So, but uh, that, uh, uh, of course we have back office, uh, legal finance, so overall mm -hmm. big team. So it's it's very, very, very unique team as we have all the necessary resources here. We can provide experience, which may not necessarily other offices able to provide. For example, when we talk about R&D centers, we have a possibility to organize a meeting with our customers. And by the way, uh, those who are listening or watching, uh, I, I really invite you to ask that question as I will be really pleased to organize a meeting with our R&D team. They really uh, love to share what they're working and like, you know, to get a bit of a glimpse what is approaching, like just around the corner kind of thing. Well, I guess finally to finish off, you touched on it a little bit there. Uh, if an enterprise end user wanted to engage with Aveva, what's the best way they can do that? Yeah, okay. Uh, I believe this. If, this, if the question is about our solutions, the best way is to contact our sales. So we have contact details on our website. So uh, re you can reach out uh, to our sales team. Uh, and if you're concerned, uh, I believe we can put somewhere in the comments my email address. So yeah. if, you, if you're not able to find uh, our sales contacts on our website, then you can reach out to me and I'll navigate you to the right contact. Awesome. Uh, well, it has been a pleasure having you on the jam, Alexa, and hearing more about Aveva and what you guys do. Uh, we look forward to hearing more from you guys very soon. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure to have uh, that uh, nice and uh, short uh, productive interview with you.